The writing is on the wall for me. As somebody working in this space, Transformers do not have a lot of time left as the dominant architecture. By the end of 2025, this year, every hyperscaler will at the very least be working on a subquadratic foundation model. By the end of next year, nobody will be using transformer models, or almost nobody. And by the end of 2027, it will be getting all the goodies that I discussed at the beginning of the talk, including, and I'm gonna come back to this now, the beginning of a transition from centralized to decentralized AI. So I wanna talk a bit about what the picture of centralized versus decentralized AI looks like and how the context scaling regime is going to influence it. Hyperscalers, you can picture it like this. They got a lot of compute, they got a lot of data, and crucially, it's all in one room. Everyone else, collectively has more compute and data, but it's scattered, it's fragmented. No one person has it all together. So inference, this is not a problem. Inference is in some ways an inherently distributed process. There's not a real advantage to having all of your compute in one room when you're doing inference versus broadcasting it out to a bunch of different players, assuming everyone's tech stacks are, are, are well situated. Long context puts inference on steroids. Right now, because the prompts are so short and models are barely capable of using them, Everyone's copy of chat GPT or Claude is basically the same. They have more or less the same capabilities. You can do a little bit of improvement. You can influence it a little bit by putting some good stuff in the prompt, but it just can't go very far. 